Learning to save money and pay off debt has a lot to do with goal setting. Here today is Project Money Team Louise and Dave, Louise Lateral and Dave Huddleston, to talk about the goals that they set over the summer and how they've been able to accomplish them. So thanks so much for coming in, you guys. Before we talk about these three big goals that you were able to meet, Tell us how you are able to be successful, generally, because we're all wondering and we want to put it to use in our own lives. I think a big step was for us to realize that we could dream again and that our actions in terms of cutting our spending were going to make a difference if we actually had a, something we were working toward. A budget lets you compare sort of um, your day-to-day -day expenses to like the, the, the things that you really are dreaming of and stretching for. Otherwise, it's just, you know, $10 here, $5 there. It doesn't mean anything until you actually put it in the context of a budget. And then it adds up, right? And then it adds up huge. Mm -hmm. Let's talk specifically about three of your goals. First, you paid down your car loan. Yeah, that was that was a big deal. Um, we by saving a lot uh, and and cutting it down to the essentials uh, for all of our spending. Uh, over the past five months, we cut our car loan in half, down to seventy three hundred dollars. Wow, good for you! And that was all by budgeting and then moving, yeah. being able to move money around and put more on that payment. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Okay, you started five twenty nine education accounts for your kids. Yeah. This was huge, and it took so little time. And so, of course, we look back and wish we'd done it when our kids right. were babies. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's so easy to do, and we have automatic transfer set up from our bank account, so that every month we're putting more money into it. So we're going to keep building on that dream of helping save money for our kids' education. And what if parents say, boy, I really want to do that, but I can't commit a lot of money to that every month? Even small amounts. So we set up transfers for just $50 um, a month for each kid. And I, I'm not sure, but I think it can go as low as 25 It can be a very small amount that you can give on a routine basis withdrawn from your um, credit union or bank account. And showing you support that education. You also established dedicated savings accounts for what What did you pick to do? Well, the emergency funds was a big one okay. and, and uh, the school tuition for our kids and um, but also some some of those incidental things that you never plan for like appliances falling over. Clothing. Clothing. Vacations, yeah. gifts, insurance payments, gifts pretty much everything. Yeah. It, um, everything that um, isn't like a pay your gas bill sure. you know, every month kind of thing. And then you can take that money out. You've got it designated so you're not going over your budget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank mm -hmm. you guys so much. We appreciate it. Congrats on hitting three big goals in the last couple of months. And if you would like to follow the Project Money teams as they compete for $10,000 or learn more about savings and investment options at Summit Credit Union, you can go to NBC15.com and click on News Links. We'll be right back.